I'm Bob Ryan, this is Globe 10.0 with Chris Gasper here at the TD Garden Celtics having defeated Miami 93-91 in Game 4. All right, Tuesday night, Game 5 Miami, are there any, uh, you got a little checklist of at least a couple of things you think they must do if they're going to sneak out of there with a victory? Well, I think pound the ball inside to Kevin Garnett, you know, they've been very successful with that in this series. Obviously, running the offense through Rondo, he's yep. going to have to, you know, it doesn't have to be 44 points, yep. but he has to be a huge part of the offense. And I think, you know, slowing them down in transition, I think they feed off yep. transition baskets and that crowd especially down there. Easy baskets build their confidence. And they didn't give many up tonight in that regard. The they Celtics didn't. had kept them to a pretty good minimum. I, 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 maybe there were one or two sloppy passes, but not much. It, it's essential. But this is the same thing they faced against Atlanta, Philadelphia. Turnovers, those teams thrive on them. And Miami, of course, we see you later. If they get that ball between the top of the key and the midcourt, they're gone. Uh, the other thing that you, you'd like to get, but this is the thing that the, one of the difference for teams at home, is the role players, the auxiliary players, traditionally play better at home. The Celtics got a big lift from Kean Dooling and from Marquis Daniels defensively in Game Four. Uh, be, somebody has to help them a little bit in Game Five. I'm not sure that they can, with the, where it's going to come from. No, I think that's a great point you raise. I mean, the role players. I think clearly in the first couple of games down in Miami, the Celtics role players have been outscored. I remember Game Two was 25-7 yep. bench points for Miami. So if you, they can have Dooling or, or Marquis Daniels, somebody sort of carry over down there, buy them a little bit of time. Maybe Brandon Bass has a big game. Somebody else who can contribute to that core four. I think that would help them a lot. Yeah, in now, Bass had a good first half, but they kind of, well, we didn't get a whole lot of playing time in the second half because uh, they, went, they went in another direction. Michael Petras' defense was essential. He still hasn't found his shot. Oh, he had lots of open looks, but he did defend, and one notable absolute swallow up on LeBron, I remember, was great. Uh, so, they got the, so let's not forget him when we're talking about the bench. Anyway, Game five in Miami on Tuesday, uh, and and you know we've been playing. They've been playing with house money for six weeks now, but uh, and and I think the pressure is going to be on Miami.